Hello friends, this video on thermodynamics part 12 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching the video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 11. A current free expansion of gas in vacuum. Can you guess what will be the work done in free expansion of gas in vacuum? Work done in free expansion of gas in vacuum is zero. Why? Because the external pressure is zero. See, the formula we had was work is equal to minus Px delta V for non-reversible. So this guy is zero. Pressure external is zero. Because that is called free expansion. There is no external pressure. So there is no work done during free expansion. Whether it is reversible, irreversible, I don't care. If this is zero, the work done is. For isothermal expansion of idle gas, delta U is zero. Why? Because see the U is a function of T. This is something we have discussed earlier also that delta U change in internal energy or isothermal expansion or isothermal process is zero. Why? Because internal energy is nothing but function of T. This formula we won't study. We don't study how it is derived. But this is the formula I got from Wikipedia. It says that internal energy is CVNRT. So this is the only thing is uh, variable is T. So it's, 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 it varies on T. So if T is constant, so delta U will be zero. Why? Because T is constant. Right? There will be no change in internal energy. So please note, the change in internal energy for isothermal process where temperature is constant is zero. Correct. So what we have done, learned the law. Work done is equal to zero for free expansion. Please note, I was talking about work done there. And change in internal energy is zero for T is equal to constant. So if T is constant, if temperature is constant, internal energy change is zero. And if free expansion work done is zero, I'm not talking, I'm not saying that the internal energy change is zero. Work done is zero. Maybe there's a heat which is uh, exchange and the internal energy may change, but the work done will be zero for free expansion and the internal energy will be change will be zero for isothermal. So a little confusing, but uh, just understand. In fact, both are do different thing. I'm just I just wrote it together, but they are do different thing. When you talk about work done, that will be zero for free expansion vacuum because the peaks. When you talk about internal energy change in isothermal process, that will be zero because internal energy is a function of T. If T is not changing, there is no change in internal energy. So with delta U zero for isothermal process, we have one more derivation here. See. I told delta U is nothing but Q plus W. If this is zero for isothermal, Q is equal to minus W. Right? So Q will be equal to minus W. And I told change in internal energy is zero, but not the work done. Work will be there. Work will be the same formula. General formula will be Vf minus Vi. Minus W, so I have not put minus W. And for reversible, again Q is equal to minus W for isothermal. But here the work done will be 2.303 uh, nRT log of Vf by Vf. Correct. So the main thing is for isothermal process, change in internal energy is zero, but the work done can be there. Right? For free expansion of gas in vacuum, work done is zero, but change in internal energy can be there. Let me write once again here. So I have discussed two scenarios here. One is the free expansion in vacuum and there is isothermal. And I talk about two things here, delta U and delta W, so only W. So in free expansion, delta in isothermal delta U is zero. 
but in free expansion delta u can have some values some quantities in free expansion work done is zero right see in free expansion work done is zero in isothermal delta u is zero but if you see in free expansion work done can have some value it can be positive or negative or zero you don't know same thing in isothermal case work done can be positive negative or zero you don't know correct so in this case isothermal process the work done came out to be w came out to be uh, minus uh, sorry p external vf minus vi minus of that and minus 2.303 into nrt log of vf minus and in this case uh, free expansion delta u is equal to q plus w right since this is zero delta u will become q actually heat supply so whatever heat you supply that will become change in interval and this is a lot of students get confused in isothermal and adiabatic process so let me discuss this once again isothermal process temperature heat is kept constant external heat may be required sometime for example in this case if this gas is expanding you need extra heat you need extra heat for this and if this is expanding if you provide extra heat just to maintain the temperature right so in isothermal temperature is kept constant in adiabatic we have this adiabatic walls and there is no transfer of heat from external world temperature may not be constant because if you have chemical reaction going on here the chemical reaction may increase the temperature or decrease the temperature based on whether it's exothermic or endothermic reaction correct so adiabatic process there is no transfer of heat from external world isothermal process there may be transfer of heat you don't know but the temperature has to be kept constant so let's talk about the internal energy change for adiabatic and isochoric process see for adiabatic process I am saying there is no transfer of heat from some object. That is, Q is equal to zero. If Q is equal to zero, if I have formula change in the internal energy is nothing but Q plus W. If this is zero, then delta U will be minus adiabatic. Okay. I don't know why this negative sign is there. It's not required. And isochoric process. In isochoric process, the volume is constant, right? In volume is constant. If you know the work is nothing but p external into delta v. If this is constant, the work done is constant. zero. If w is zero, delta u is what? Q plus w. This is zero. Delta u is nothing but q. That is my change in internal energy. So let's do a quick summary of all the different kinds of process and the internal energy change. For isothermal process is the most critical. Change in internal energy is zero. Difficult to visualize if you don't know the formula. The, the reason why it was because the you, internal energy was nothing but Cv and Rt, where it depends only on temperature. If temperature is changing, it, it depends on temperature. Other things are constant for a given system. If, if the temperature change is not there, delta will be zero. If delta u is zero, I have the formula delta u is equal to q plus w. This becomes zero. So q q becomes minus w, right? And w is minus w is nothing but p x into v f minus v i. That is minus w. So this is my case for isothermal. For a free expansion of gas in vacuum, please note it is vacuum and free expansion. So in that case, the work done was zero. Why? Because the p external was zero, so work done is nothing but p external delta v. If p external is zero, so work done is zero. If work done is zero, my delta u is nothing but q plus w, and w is zero. So delta u comes out to be q. For adiabatic process, there is no heat transfer, so q is zero. If q is zero, my delta u will be w. Because delta u is w plus q. Q is zero. Delta u becomes w. For iso 
coric process there is no change in volume if there is no change in volume my work done is what p delta v this is zero because delta v is zero so work done is zero if work done is zero delta change in terminal will be v q plus w this is zero it will become q correct the last case remaining is i think isobaric process for isobaric process there is nothing special it will be normal because the pressure is constant delta we can have some value so work done will be there pressure is constant i'm not talking about temperature or, or the heat transfer q can have some value so my delta u will be normally q plus w only the general formula there is nothing special in this case for these case things were special so we discussed but normally we discuss the isobaric pressure where process with nothing special so let's discuss that process also there's nothing special in that case normal formula i'll be using it correct so this is the internal energy change for various scenarios uh, for isothermal zero internal energy change for free expansion it is nothing but the heat supply for adiabatic process it is the work done for isochoric process it is nothing but the heat supply and for isobaric we have to take both thing into factor the heat supply and the work Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.